Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming um, a drugstore makeup haul. I went out to Target and Rite Aid and I picked up some much needed necessities for my makeup collection, things I needed to stock up on or things I just wanted to try and I'm just going to share it all with you and sort of kind of a review at the same time, like review like how well these products work and stuff like that. So let us get right on into it. So the first thing I'm going to start with is foundations and I picked up two foundations from Target and they are the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousses and this one is Honey Beige Medium 4 and this one is Caramel Dark 2 and they have this like airbrush finish about them and they're sort of kind of they're really good. My only problem is I don't think they have enough color ranges in this uh, type of foundation because it literally takes both of these to make my color. Um, and that's barely. Like, it still has, like, really cool undertones and yellowy undertones to it. And I have more orangey undertones to my skin. So, um, they're okay. I just wish that the brand would make more colors so girls like me who are in between shades don't have to buy a crap ton to make their color. So these two. But they were fairly priced um, and I think they're worth trying. If you're um, a little lighter, I think they're worth trying because you will most likely have your like correct color. Whereas it's sort of kind of a hit or miss when you have to mix colors to make your own or something like that. Next is primer and this is the Maybelline New York Master Prime um, Blur and Illuminate. And it has like little flecks of glitter in it and I love it. And this is actually a really good primer. Before I didn't use primer at all and I really don't know what I was thinking. I would just wear BB cream and then put on foundation and now I just use the primer and then I put on foundation. And sometimes I use Benefit Professional, but mostly just primer and then foundation and whatever. It doesn't make me feel oily or anything after. It just does exactly what it says it's going to do, and which is blur and illuminate my face. And um, it's like having a highlighter in your primer before you even put your highlight on. Because if I was just to like put on the primer and then the foundation, where light naturally hits me, it already like glitters and shimmers sort of kind of so that's sort of, that's really cool and I like it because it has SPF 30 in it so I don't have to worry about putting sunscreen on my face before I put on this primer because it takes care of that. Next we have the Maybelline New York BB cream and Beauty Balm basically it's its job is to just correct the color of your face and smooth everything over so this color is actually like the proper color for me and it just makes me look brown and it takes care of my dark spots and things like that and um this is the dream fresh one the dream pure one is pretty good too but I feel like it's heavier than the dream fresh so I like this one better because it feels more lightweight like I don't have any makeup on my face Next is concealer, and these are the Maybelline New York's. Okay, I know I have a lot of Maybelline. No, this is not sponsored, but Maybelline, if you want to, by all means, please. I love you guys. Um, but this is the Maybelline New York Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer, and I have it in the color 30, which is light slash medium, and 40, which is medium. And this is one of those things where, like, I sort of kind of have to mix to find the color that works for me. Um, I first purchased I first purchased the light and medium and it was too light for me. Um, like no matter how much I blended in, I was super bright in this area, this area, and my chin. And I was just like, it's too much. So I went and I picked up the medium and this one works. This one's like phenomenal and I can wear just this one and it look great or I can mix them both and they look great so either one so what I usually do is if I choose not to mix them I use the light and medium for like under my eyes to get rid of my dark circles and then I take the regular medium and I use that for like everything else and if I'm feeling like extra like oh I want to like shine then I'll use the light medium on my t-zone only and then I'll use the medium on like the rest of my face and they're like really great concealers. Next 
I got mascaras and eyeliners, and these are two NYX mascaras. This is the Voluptuous, and this is the Stacked. The Voluptuous looks like this. The brush looks like that. And um, it's really good for like making your lashes look big and full because it's super inky. And then the Stacked one it's really buildable which I like and the applicator it makes it easy for getting like the inner lashes right here and your bottom lash line so that's cool and they're like easily two of my favorite like drugstore brand mascaras they're not super expensive and they work pretty well and then I picked up the Maybelline New York master graphic um, eyeliner marker and it's like this and I haven't used this one yet, but I heard really good reviews on this and I'm excited to see like how this works because I've been trying to get into eyeliner um, because it hasn't always been my strong suit. And then I got the NYX Born to Glow uh, Liquid Illuminator and it's just a creamy highlighter and I talked about it in my what's in my beach bag video because I carry it with me everywhere. It's nice to have if I just want to like add some more glitter to my t-zone area or on my cheeks um, it comes in a lighter shade and i want to pick that one up too so when i get that i'll let you guys know more about that next i got the elf makeup remover cleansing cloths and the elf daily brush cleaner and this cleaner is so good in between me washing my brushes and my beauty blenders i just spray this on like all my brushes everything that I use to put on my face and apply my makeup and it cleans it like down to like how it was when it was brand new and it also smells good so it's not like a harsh smelling cleaner it smells actually like a perfume so that's cool too and then the makeup remover cleansing cloths by elf are great because you can never have too many makeup wipes before I would use the Neutrogena uh, package it came in like a blue uh, pack and those are good too I usually don't have to use too many of these i only use like one and i'll wipe it all off then last but not least i have two nyx finishing sprays in the matte finish and the dewy finish and you can compare the dewy finish to the mac fix plus spray which is also really good and it cools off your face and it makes you feel good and it really holds all of your makeup in place and i usually spray the matte one on before I do my makeup and then I put the dewy one on when I finish my makeup. I really love these sprays. But that is it for my drugstore haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and added some of these items to your list of things to get the next time you're at Target or Rite Aid or wherever you shop for your makeup. So that's it for this week's video. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to like and comment and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, feel free to follow me on all of my social media networks, which I will have listed down below. And until I see you guys next time, bye!